Well, Krista, it's been two weeks since Barbara Shepard was slain, stabbed in the neck in the alleyway next to the building where she worked. Now tonight, people gathered out here for another vigil, the second since the 33 year old's murder. But tonight, things were a little different. Family members showed a lot more anger. And tonight, they told me they want answers and they want justice. Her voice need answers. Globs of pink and blue wax hang stuck to the brick. This is what's left of the candles lit in memory of Barbara Shepard. You're looking for her to walk through the door. Shepard's aunt, Gail Six, is looking after Shepard's two boys, just three and ten years old. She says the past two weeks have been a blur. Chaos, just wondering how to get through it. Six says they have a lot of unanswered questions. Over and over again, she wonders who did this and why. It's going to be in our mind the rest of her, our lives. Those who knew Shepard say her murder was not random. Shepard's boyfriend of nearly a year, Jason Leba, found her body around 2 in the morning on December 23rd. He was questioned by detectives and released. But later that afternoon, Leba was arrested for possession of a controlled substance. Leba told ABC 57 News he's being treated like a suspect and he just gave investigators a DNA swab. Who I feel it is, I don't want to say. Shepard's divorce was finalized 10 days before her death. Her ex-husband and the father of her two children, Joe Weyer, was also questioned the day her body was found. At that time, he was arrested for a warrant issued for failure to appear in court. Both men posted bond. Neither have been charged with Shepard's murder, and investigators have not officially named any suspects in this case. Answers to questions that her boys need to know when they grow up. Now, I made several phone calls to the St. Joseph County Metro Homicide Unit to get an update on this case, but none of those phone calls were returned. The family says they speak with detectives at least once a week, and right now they're just trying to stay patient as they wait for an arrest. In Mishawaka, Rachel Glazer, ABC 57 News.